Alrighty, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to finish up painting my calipers. Sorry, I can't really see you, but I'm paint the front one's red, or at least one of them before I have to go to work. So we'll get started on that, taking this off, got the car jacked up. The other side's going to be tricky due to the fact that I uh, don't really have a whole lot of clearance on it. But anyways, we'll get started. Bucky's supposed to be here in a minute. I say that, but I ordered it like 10 minutes ago. It'll probably be an hour. I said, I bought you to be here. I ordered about 10 minutes ago, so any, any minute to the next hour and a half. I figure about about time that I get done with this, to jump in the sh eat, and then I'll jump in the shower and go to work. You think everything's cute, don't you, though? <laughs> y'all we got two takeoff two 12 millimeter bolts so we'll start on that now try not bust our knuckles If I could find my adapter for my impact, we'd be good. She's out, she's up there. These out. And what we got? 17 on the money. That's all. Guys, when you can't find your tools, this is what you gotta work with. Do that or pull out the big air compressor. Let's see what I can go find.
Alright y'all, we're going to hit with some brake parts cleaner to clean her up and then start picking her and get her back on. I know this is not an ideal brush, but don't know where my wire brush is. Apparently, I don't know where half of my stuff is, but what is the same? Work with what you got. We'll let it dry. Come right back. Meantime, I'm gonna go get some food. Y'all wanna see what I've got? It's a good note. Good old food.
I don't think they gave me a fork, y'all. I don't think they gave me a fork. Nah, they did. Sweet. So there's only one thing that I do not like about the company that I ordered food from. It seems like every time I order food and I get a drink and I open it up, which I know it's my fault because I should expect it and slowly open it, it spews everywhere. Luckily I'm downstairs in my basement and not upstairs. But Domino's doesn't even do that. Come on. I just might do one side tonight. Athena, what are you doing, madam? Yeah, guys and girls, I think we're just going to do one tonight because I should have got up earlier. But I didn't get much sleep yesterday and then had to go to work. I got to work tonight, so get up early or tomorrow, do the other side. So while we're waiting for that to dry, I'll show y'all. Um, <clears throat> I got a glove box off the line. Can't really see it. But I got a glove box off the line through uh, eBay. It's gray. Well, I ended up painting it black with vinyl fabric coating. Just so it would blend in with my dash. I got some fenders, front fenders off of uh, Facebook Marketplace from a guy local. And then what I've been working on is a mess. I think by uh, Scotty Pointers deals a wiring. So going to wire the window motors up to a switch in the dash uh, I've got 14 gauge wiring that I'm gonna run through fix everything up uh, it's what these two are and now I know I've got a switch for uh, double throw uh, double pole double throw switch that uh, monetary switch so I can roll the windows up and down however I'm not sure if I need to run through uh, relays or if I can, should just run them straight uh, I test them and I know they run straight uh, a lot of people say though that anything that pulls a certain amount of amps like a window motor should run through a relay well if I have to run it through a relay then from what I've seen online to do reverse polarity you have to use two relays which is fine I've got enough relays I've got 
this thing here. Oh, where's the rest of my stuff? Um, I got this here. And. Man, where did all my stuff go? Anyways, I got about 20 different relays. So I have enough relays to wire up the whole car. <clears throat> but my problem is, is you might have to have use four relays, two for this side and two for that side. Or can I just run this motor and that motor off of the same set of relays, but when I have two different switches. So when I throw one, the switch on the right, side of the dash panel, which I'll show you now. <clears throat> so when I throw this switch, this will be for the right motor, or the right the passenger side, and this for the driver's side. So, I don't want to be pushing on this and both of them go up. That's why I need to know if I have to use four relays, two relays, or if anybody that has electrical background thinks that for car stuff and everything thinks that it will be okay to just use it without relays. Uh, another thing that I need to know is <coughs> what in the hell is all the different wires that go to the door lock for uh, because that's what the middle switch will be for it's going to power both door sets of door locks um, there is these two wires these two wires and where did they go these two wires and these two plug to the bottom of the motor and these come one comes out looks like this top here or the side and the other one goes back over to the locking mechanism area so if somebody will tell me what wires I need to have plugged up and everything else for the motor and which ones I don't need that'd be great because that is where I'm stuck at for now until I get into the steering column which I'm going to try to keep the factory um, switches and ignition and all that along with the factory brake pedal and everything but I don't get rid of that fuse box down there and make my own that's a little bit easier and nicer to get to. <coughs> oh, here's all those. Uh, plenty of pieces. So, I'm not worried about fuses again. Or really, sorry, not fuses.
fixing that uh, spot and I've got driver and passenger so I'll be able to do both uh, until then I think that's all I've got other than the wiring if anybody knows about the uh, relays I was talking about and then I'm going to get some black paint and paint the um, spooler Until then, I'll see y'all next time.